In this video, I'm going to take you through how to set up and import your own model into Unreal. As a reminder, Unreal Engine and even we could tie the Unity Engine into this, while they both have robust marketplaces that have assets already ready for you that you can import into your games and utilize, you are going to come to a point whereby you are going to want to use your own self-created assets. This is where programs such as Maya and Blender are going to come into play here. So in this video, I'm going to focus in on Maya. Now, if you are a student, Maya does offer student licensing that you can get Maya for free. However, uh, Blender is also uh, open source, free to use, and honestly, it is an excellent piece of software. Both have their pros and cons. Maya as far as a 3D modeling program is concerned, one thing that it does offer is you can actually link it up and set the project of the game engine that you are currently working in to make the import go, I guess, smoother. Um, you, have, you do have a few more steps that you have to do in Blender, but it's not a make or break situation. So again, to come back to it in this video, I'm going to be ma mainly focusing on Maya and Maya's capabilities for importing. So a couple of things that I've already done here is, as you can see, I just made a real basic vase, uh, and that's all I want to import. I'm focused on importing the object itself. Also to prepare, I have made an Unreal project as far as where I am going to import from. So let's go back into Maya here. One thing you may also notice here as I'm talking is it is pretty helpful to have a machine that you are capable of having both a 3D modeling software package and the game engine open simultaneously. Now in Maya, one thing that you can do once you have the file created and you have your model ready to go is under the file drop down menu. This is one differentiation from Blender is Notice in the file drop down menu, I actually have the option that I can set an Unreal project for Maya to send my models to. So, to take you through that process, I'm going to stay on Send to Unreal, but I'm going to set the Unreal project. One of the catches here is whenever you are getting ready to do this, by default, Maya still wants to stay in its own project folder. So, here you can see that it's not actually anywhere near an Unreal project folder. So the first thing you're going to need to do is actually navigate to that folder. In my case, I store all of my stuff on my D drive. I need to locate, so there's my Unreal projects, and this is, I called this import demo. So I'm going to go ahead and select this project. Now, you're not really going to see anything happen here. As long as you don't get some sort of error saying like you didn't select the proper Unreal project or you didn't select an Unreal project, you're actually good to go. So my next step, what I'm going to do is I am going to just take and highlight, as you can already see, click on my object. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do File, Send Unreal, and I'm going to do Selection. For this, I'm not concerned about any form of lighting. I don't have any rigging or animation set to the object, so I just need to send the object. So I'm going to do my selection. And here, notice what happens at the export selection option here, where it's actually saying import demo. So it is finding the Unreal project, and it wants to put this in a file called import. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it, maybe call this my vase. Now down at the bottom here, from a basic standpoint, it wants to import as an FPX by default. Could you technically switch over to an OBJ? OBJs are the older version of import options, not as robust, cannot handle animation, um, but also can help as far as any form, you know, as far as taking down poly counts, uh, you know, simplifying the overall model. Yes, you could. Honestly, though, for something like what we're doing here, and especially for, because this is more of an introductory level, it's not going to increase the file size immensely if you just leave it at FBX import. So I'm going to go ahead here. I'm going to let Maya make the decision for me on this, and I'm going to go ahead and say export selection. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back over into Unreal here. 
and let's see what we've got here. So we do have some importing going on here. So now that we've made the connection to the Unreal project, make sure that you've selected your object because what we're actually going to do here is we're going to do a file. We're still going to go back to Unreal because we set the Unreal project and we're going to choose selection. Now, what I'm actually going to do here is this is one of the trickier parts as far as working with once you set a project you have chosen the base folder of the project in Unreal. For me to actually see my import that I did in the Unreal Editor environment, remember that down at the bottom for your outliner, you have content. So for instance here under content now, maybe I go into imported assets. And here I'm gonna call this maybe my base. Maya by default wants to do an FBX export. The FBX is a very robust 3D file that can handle also rigging, animation, etc. There is another one that you may run into as far as modeling goes, which is also called the OBJ. The OBJ is considered to be the older version. It is a much more simplistic type of export. It cannot handle animation and rigging. In my opinion, for what you're starting out with and this being introductory, the FBX is going to be fine. It's not going to pile all of this extra, you know, uh, file size onto your project. So again, big things to point out, you need to make sure that you use your navigation at the top to make sure you're in that content folder. You can make a folder or you can just put it straight in content. In this case, I made an import asset and then give your file a name and we're going to choose export selection. Depending on the speed of your computer, Maya may think for a second, but now you can actually see over in the lower right hand corner of Unreal, it's telling me, hey, your content folder has a change. I'm going to tell it to import. Now over here, you can see that it's uh, giving me some options as far as what do I want to do as far as the overall uh, object is concerned. So what type of mesh is it? You know, so right now it has skeletal mesh set to false. Uh, it will generate collision for you. It'll do its best as far as setting that up. Um, so you have a lot of options here. For right now, go ahead and just say import all. I want you to see what happens when we do an import. It's just giving you a little warning here as far as the scene is concerned, but let's hop into import asset and see what was actually pulled in. So here you can see down in the bottom here, a little bit small here, but three elements were actually pulled in for this specific vase. You have the texture and then the texture was applied to a Lambert material, which again is pulled in from Maya. And then you actually have the static mesh of your vase. The static mesh is what you are going to want to work with whenever you are working in Unreal. At this point, you're ready to rock and roll. So you can actually click and drag your vase in, and there you can see now it has been placed into my scene. And just like other elements or other static meshes, you can enlarge, you can move it, we could even come in and rotate it if we choose. And now at this point, what you've done is you have actually pulled in your own shape as far as the object is concerned.